All right, so who's who's great the first time? Who was their first time at Comic Con? Raise your hand. All right, did they prep you? Did you guys give them tips? What were your tips? If you gave them, you didn't give us tips. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to make you it didn't easy. Say for anything. Really offer any help. Good luck. Yeah. Learn yourself. You know. <laughs> Sink or free swim. out into the world. So have you just been watching and like laughing as they, you know, search for Purell and just bake in the sun? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yes. Long yeah. embraces. Does anyone have Long any Purell? Embraces. They just told us to hug everyone. It was very <laughs> odd. Yeah. Everyone was like, don't Stop shake hands. Stop all the time. Long hugs well, is what, yeah. He told me to just go in for the kiss. Yeah. 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 So there's a lot of excitement around this show. And the panel last night got a lot of attention from fans. How do you think it went? How did you feel? Did you feel the energy? Yeah. 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 When they turn on the lights and we saw how big the panel was, it was insane. Yeah, it was really Yeah, when cool. the lights were... Because, you know, when you're hit with those lights, you can only see the first couple rows. So when the lights came up, it, I could not believe how big that ballroom was. There was it was 4,500 people. And uh, I, I've never performed on stage in front of that many people before. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't know how big that room was. Uh, but yeah, and seeing the work with the fans for the first time and then going to the pop-up IMAX theater and seeing that on IMAX for the first time with fans was amazing. What do you feel had the best response, Lockjaw or Medusa's hair? I think it's quite a tight one, isn't it? I think it's tight, yeah. I mean, Lockjaw always is Lockjaw. I mean, all of us got Lockjaw stuffies when we walked on, and we're yeah. so excited about it. Um, it was definitely nice to show the fans the hair, because it is such a pivotal part of the Medusa role, and we've had it hidden up until this point. So it was really, and that was actually the first time I've seen it, and I think pretty much the first time everybody has seen it, too. So it was, uh, it was pretty amazing to but actually to watch fair, it the first time. To be fair, Lockjaw isn't here. He's working with Stallone right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he had to call in. As an actor facing Medusa's hair wrath, what's it like being beaten up by hair or being pushed by hair? Um, it's kind of weird, yeah. You just, I just it had to imagine I was doing it, so just to throw myself against the wall. Tickle. Um, did, did it hurt your manhood? Did it tickle? Did it tickle? <laughs> Not at all. She's a very powerful woman, and I respect powerful women. I like it. Did it tickle, Anthony? A1? <laughs> I'm A1. This is, is going to be a problem. The, the Inhumans is based on a royal family that's ruling all over all these mutants. Can anyone here explain the hierarchy of this royal family for fans? He's the king. He's the king. Yeah, yeah. I'm the king. Queen. Queen. It's good to be the king. The uh, king, queen, advisor, military. head of military, uh, head of, yeah, defense secretary, uh, security, uh, princess. Yeah. No, pain, Prince. pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, me. Chief, uh, chief spy. And there were a few new. Cre there was a new character made just for the show. Um, are you guys excited about the addition to this? What are we going to see that we haven't already read in the comics, Ellen? I don't know if I can tell you what you're going to see that you haven't read in the comics. Um, but yeah, no, I play a new original character, uh, Louise, and she's a human. Um, and she's sort of the eyes and ears of, uh, for the audience. I mean, everything that the viewers and the audience learns and discovers and sees for the first time while watching the show, uh, I, you know, they're they're doing so with me. It's my first time. You know, I'm I'm encountering these Inhumans and going along on the adventure. And uh, yeah, sort of the eyes and ears. I know a lot of people are really excited about her. There's been a lot of talk about her from fans, so it's exciting. Oh, thanks. And I guess final question: What's it like? I know some of us have experienced this before, but what is it like seeing your face on an elevator or on the side of a hotel or anything? What does that feel Padre like? Padre Stadium. It's <laughs> <laughs> what we live for. Yeah. Wow. Well, um, I don't know. It's humbling. Cool. Yeah, it's really, <laughs> it's really humbling. It's really exciting. It's especially for Comic Con and being our first, uh, my first Comic Con. It's in such a level that it just kind of blows you away, to be honest. Like, I was like, keep it together, Swan. Keep it together. Because you can, like, see it from, the from like, as soon as you walk out. So, it was, I mean, and it's Marvel, and it's this cast who are just so incredible to work with, and you just feel like this family, and you're like, we did it. You guys, we finished it, and everybody was was mind-blowing at their roles, and, and it just feels like a really great culmination of everything to come together and celebrate it and show the fans.